Clinton and his neighbors now occupy what Hawaiians call a kipuka, an area of land surrounded by a now hardened lava flow. He and other newly returned residents say they moved back because they can live inexpensively in a benign climate with beautiful surroundings, even if it's under one of North America's most active volcanoes. Kilauea has now returned to normal, the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, announced on March 26. It's a new normal for returning residents. Not all of them are looking forward to it. Pauline and Eddie McLaren were cleaning their house of soot left by brush fires. The couple also lived off the grid, getting by on a small pension and pasturing horses on their three-acre, lot life wasn't easy and they had planned to sell their home before last year's eruption. They think the property is almost worthless now. The bottom line is, we came back because we had nowhere else to go, Pauline, 78, said. Now I don't think we'll ever leave. The couple received $4,000 in rental assistance from the Federal Emergency Management Agency and $9,000 from the Small Business Administration to repair the pasture fences burned in the brush fires, she said. Pauline is not afraid of another eruption because she doesn't expect to be alive for the next one. Next stop, six feet, she quipped, pointing at the ground below her feet. Psychological challenge, she says the main challenge is psychological, she tries not to think about the ridges of cooling lava that now surround her neighborhood. I try not to think that I can't get out easily. During the eruption, fountains of lava from some 22 ground fissures created molten ridges of up to 20 feet, 6 meters, high, and in places cinder cones up to 50 feet, 15 meters, high. When it rains the still cooling lava ridges give off steam plumes. Ingrid Webb, 34, says she and her husband and four children are also delighted to be able to drive back to their 15-acre, 6-hectare, organic farm. She doesn't know of anywhere else where she can recreate the life they have in the East Rift Zone, where the climate and soil are so conducive to the crops they grow. The main headache she says is access into the community on the makeshift road, which only residents can use for now, not repairmen, or farm workers. But it's all worth it. She adds, this is our future. This is our kids' future. The farm is my kids' college fund.